I guess, and I understand that Chad is disabled. I guess my question to you is, if I had a disabled child, they'd probably be living with me. And I want to know, why is it not possible for Chad to live with you guys? Because he can take care of himself in certain ways. He's able to take care of himself. And but there is, that would be, if this permit were denied, that would be an option. To stay with us? Yes. Well, we have to make arrangements and figure what we're going to do. You know, but right now he, he's not able to stay with us at this time. I have other people in my home and it's fully occupied with my uh, stepchildren and other children. So we're going to have to make arrangements and he's old enough to be out on his own. He's, a, he's an adult. I mean, I, yeah, he's 26 years old. Yeah, he's still an adult. Yeah. Um, I, I guess, Mr. Ray, I, I'm, I'm still up in the air about it. You know, I, I think that uh, uh, NEMA and the state have kind of forced the city and, and other communities mm -hmm. into this scenario where we have to approve mm -hmm. uh, these cottages or face the threat of litigation mm -hmm. from the group out of, out of Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Uh, which we, we can't afford, and we've been advised by council. Correct me if I don't want to put words in your mouth. We would probably lose every case that that, uh, that, that was tried against us. Uh, and, and I think this board has, in the past, approved uh, a small handful, one, or two, or three, or less of that anyway. Of, of uh, the requests that have come through, where there have been no opposition. To uh, from the neighborhood, mm -hmm. uh, that that kind of takes care of the present scenario, but it doesn't really address future people wanting to move into that area. Mm -hmm. we, we've had people uh, just in the last two or three months sit here and, and blast this this council uh, for continuing to approve uh, these modular homes or mobile homes. <coughs> That, that part's really still irrelevant. Uh, and, and I want to throw this out there too, Mr. Ray, that, that I think Chad's condition here, although I appreciate you putting together as big a packet uh, and as thorough a packet as you could, that to me is still irrelevant in, in the grand scheme of things. We're here to approve a variance on something that, that we tried to put together. Well, I was told uh, that it had to be a hard this, case in this order city. to keep it. I, I know, and that's why I appreciate and that's why I the fact that, that you, you've done all that. Otherwise, but, I wouldn't have. Uh, I, I just still have hard burn with us approving modular homes. Well, I, you know, like I told y'all, I'm willing to add on to it and, and make it right um, later on. and. Um, Right now we have a few that are going up, north and south of the tracks. And, you know, we're, you're putting some south of the tracks and they've been okay. And that's close to the flood level. This is well, not I but. think, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Jim, those kind of things came into play before we had the ordinance into effect the one south of the track. I, I don't know which maybe I, one I, or two. I, I know there was some, you know, that, that we approved that we, we approved before the ordinance. I, I know we haven't approved many since the ordinance, but I do know we have not turned any down. I've been keeping track. We've not turned anyone. We approved some before the ordinance. Yeah. I think it was five before the ordinance. And after the ordinance, the ones that came before the board that had no opposition from the neighborhood, we approved those as well. Yeah. And, I would, how I recall and that's exactly what right. And I think that... Uh, uh, to, to say that we would lose, just, uh, that automatically lose by turning someone down, I don't know if that's necessarily the case. The thing is, is, is to spend the money to be successful. Yeah, I would mean, if there's no opposition, and that's how we really, is. when you look at our ordinance, when you have an appeal process, it's greatly, and I was there for 12 years on the planning board, is greatly affected by the, the comments of the neighborhood in opposition. It's, it's not necessarily the living dying in, but it's greatly affected by it. I, I we wouldn't public, treat it at that point. I, I would not at least publicly say that we'd lose any case. You know, I mean, yeah. I work for you, so if we if we say this is what we're doing, then then I'm defending what we're doing, no, no matter what. But but you did set the ordinance up such that. On a case-by-case -case basis, you would look at them and, and determine on each one all the different relevant factors, 
And if, if the, the public interest was such that they should be granted a permit, they could get a permit. We didn't just completely outlaw. And, and the proof of, of that pudding is that the several that have come before you in the past have demonstrated the need and you have given them permits. So, uh, and there was no opposition. Yeah, no, absolutely. Was, yeah, it was done in good faith. Yeah. Having sat on the previous board and, and nothing, Ronnie, I'm just going to tell you where I am and I have been there from the get go is that I have said no on every vote that was taken on Mima Cottage. But I sat on the board when Mima came to us and said, look what we can provide your residents. They're trailers. We promise you'll take it away. I might have been the swing vote. Mark and I both struggled over that because we started to say no because we did not want a city of single modular homes. And so I said yes because it helped the citizens. But I said yes with the belief that Mima said to us, we will take these away. Mm -hmm. And so nothing against you. I know we were neighbors at one time. I, I've watched your children grow up. I know you're white. But I'm, I'm still, I, I'm at the point of drawing a line in the sand because you've got a tough situation. I can guarantee you the next person that comes along will have a tough situation and the person after that. And I'm not an, a, a compassionate person. I'm not incompassionate. I am very compassionate. I'm a counselor by profession. But I'm not going to give in when we said no, when we've got all these other people that will follow you, that will base what they do on what we decide here. And so, I mean, that's where I stand. Well, like I said from the beginning, I was told it, for hardship cases only. Another thing is, I was left out in the dark from the beginning of this whole thing of when they could stay and when they couldn't. I knew, I was not even aware of what was going on with this situation. Well, we were too. Yeah, for the most part, we, we were live. too. Oh, what? That's, I mean, when they walked in here that night, today, so, I mean, you know, when they walked in here that night, Billy Skelly saying to me, "Don't vote yes for this, Carolyn, because they won't be taken away." And he's whispering, "Don't vote yes." And I'm feeling sorry for everyone in here who had lost their homes, and I was assured that these were trailers and they would be removed. I cannot vote yes when I have been lied to by the state, and I promised the the room full of people here that night that we would not put these there permanently. So anyone that comes before me, I will vote no. And, and I would hope this board doesn't operate under the threat of litigation and, and let that be a factor in, in decisions that they make. Uh, I, I'm just curious, who, uh, Kay, is this your award? Yes, it is. You got I, I didn't receive any phone calls you know, um, for some of the other ones we had, particularly right at my back door on English Village, I, I received numerous phone calls on that one against it. I have not received any phone calls on this one at all against nor for it. But it is a very quiet street. Um, I, I wouldn't really have expected many phone, any phone calls from that area. Um, I, I'm tossed. I don't, I don't have my mind made up because I'm... I'm I, I understand the case and I, I understand um, the need, but I also understand the city's ordinance and, and how we're trying to rebuild our city. Um, and I guess even though no one said no presently on this issue, would that affect someone buying land on that street or a house on that street in the future? I don't know. Um, I just have a couple more questions. There is no what, what is the square footage of this trailer now? Sir? What is the square footage of this trailer? Uh, I don't know exactly what they are. That's 400 or something? No, they're, they're one bedrooms are four. Four seventy. It's close to five. Yeah, four, four seventy five, something like that. Six or something. Like that. And, and so it's well short of the ordinance. It's the standard size for the one bed. Standard size. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the ordinance does say 850. Can we? Would you be uh, willing to accept a timeline to to come back here and show us plans to mm -hmm. to try to expand that trailer to sure. 850 square feet? Yeah, a reasonable timeline. I mean, uh, 